the Avatars of Vishnu exhibition on display from April 24 to June 20 in the Works on Paper Gallery at Atlanta's Emory's Carlos Museum explores the various forms of the Hindu deity who descends to earth in times of need to restore cosmic order and balance. Throughout the semester, students led by Dr. Ellen Goh, assistant professor in the Department of Religion, have examined the avatars in both image and text and will curate the exhibition from the museum's collection of Indian paintings and sculpture. The student curated the Avatars of Vishnu exhibition in Atlanta's Emory University's Michael C. Carlos Museum, which will continue till June 20th, has been highly praised by the visitors and art connoisseurs alike. Various exhibits displayed in it reportedly include Churning of the Ocean, 18 Armed Vishnu, Seen from Ramayana, Dancing Krishna, Vishnu Reclining on the Cosmic Ocean, etc. We've been working with Emory University faculty and donors like Pyush and Harshna Patel and Jay Patel and his family to build our collection of Indian art over the last decade, focusing particularly on Indian paintings on the subjects of the Ramayana and the avatars of Vishnu because these are used so frequently in teaching. This is the second exhibition that Dr. Ellen Goff has worked with students to create. The first one was in 2018 and was the Ramayana in image and text. The paintings are part of the museum's larger collection of South Asian art, which includes Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain art from India and Tibet. So this exhibit just didn't emerge this semester. It's been um, a decade long, over a decade long project. So for over 10 years, the Carlos Museum here has been collecting um, the avatars of Vishnu with the idea that this would be a great way to introduce Hinduism through the objects of Hinduism. Um, and in the course, we worked systematically through the 10 incarnations of Vishnu, um, reading the texts about the narratives that narrated the stories of each incarnation, um, beginning with the fish incarnation and moving to Kalki, the future incarnation, and then examining the objects in conversation with the texts that discuss these incarnations. Michael C. Carlos Museum of Emory University claimed to be one of the premier museums in the Southeast with world-class permanent collections was formally established on Emory's Atlanta campus in 1919, although its history goes back in 1876. It states to foster understanding of diverse religions and civilizations. This exhibition was curated by students in the Spring Semester 2021 course depicting God in Hinduism, the Avatars of Vishnu. I enrolled in depicting God in Hinduism, the avatars of Vishnu this semester. And I was assigned this piece, Rama's Coronation, and I chose it sort of off of first glance because I came into the course knowing next to nothing about Hinduism or the avatars of Vishnu. But I had the opportunity to dive deep into this painting. And here you can see Rama in the center, leaving his 14 years of exile. You see the trees to his back. Coming into the city of Ayodhya, you can see him facing his new city. He um, is seated next to his wife, Sita, which with his three brothers behind him. And you can see renunciants in the front here to celebrate the new king and his military allies at his feet. I really enjoyed this class and I honestly considered it a once in a lifetime type of experience to be involved from the very beginning of a process of creating an actual museum exhibit at an institution like Emory. I thought each step of the process from being involved in picking the colors on the wall to closely workshopping my label was extremely rewarding. And I think this is the most unique class that I've taken at Emory. 
I loved learning about each of the avatars and how we coupled the history and the socio-political context behind that avatar with both text and images. I've learned about these stories growing up in a Hindu household and as a Hindu myself, but I've come away with such a rich appreciation for everything that I've learned about Vishnu. I really enjoyed the deep discussions we had on each of the various avatars, but also the opportunity to conduct individual research and craft a detailed label on my own individually selected piece. I had the amazing opportunity to research and analyze a piece depicting Rama, Lakshman, and Hanuman on the forest floor. This exhibition displays paintings, sculptures, and objects of popular culture dated between the 10th and 19th centuries. The bronze, black stone, and sandstone sculptures come from North, South, and East India. The watercolor paintings were for the most part created by master painters in the courts of the Rajput kingdoms of Northwest India.